Hey guys, welcome back to The Nomadic Foodie. My name is Kat, and today I am going to show you eight differences between Key West and Isla Mirada so you can decide which of these is best for your Florida Keys vacation. So number one, if you are looking for historical buildings, if you are really into museums or historical landmarks, definitely choose Key West because there are actually a lot of historical buildings and museums in Key West. You've probably heard of the Hemingway House, Truman Little White House, the Key West Museum of Art and History, San Carlos Institute, and other ones. In Ala Mirada, it's not really known for historical landmarks. So if you are into history or museums, definitely choose Key West for that. The second thing is if you are looking to do a day trip from Miami, which is really popular, a lot of people visit Miami and the Keys are right there so they want to visit the Keys as well. Well, Key West is pretty far from Miami. It's about three hours and 45 minutes one way from Miami depending on traffic and that's one way so that's a pretty far drive whereas Isla Mirada is two hours from Miami so it's still not that close but it's a lot more doable if you really want to go to the Keys for the day you can definitely go to Isla Mirada for a day trip and actually I wouldn't recommend trying to go any further than Isla Mirada for a day trip from Miami because it's just really Really going to feel really rushed you're not going to really be able to do that much or see anything so it wouldn't really be worth your precious vacation time or energy so that said there aren't that many tourist attractions in Ala Mirada like Key West does unless you're here to go fishing or to do a snorkeling boat tour there aren't that much to do in Ala Mirada itself but if you are looking into doing snorkeling tours or to go fishing on a boat then definitely do that from Ala Mirada that would be be a good day trip for Miami. So moving on to the next point, if you are looking for a romantic getaway, I would say Isla Mirada. I mean, of course Key West has really nice hotels and resorts for couples, but Isla Mirada had a more romantic getaway feel to it. It wasn't as noisy and touristy as Key West. I mean, both destinations are touristy, but Key West had a lot more tourists. For example, a really popular street in Key West is Duval Street, which is just lined with souvenir shops. So you have a lot more noisy tourists over there, whereas Isla Mirada felt more secluded and quiet, and it had more of a romantic beach resort vibe to it. So if you're looking for a couple's getaway, I would definitely choose Isla Mirada over Key West. So the next thing is island vibes. So maybe a lot of you guys who are watching this video, you're looking for an island getaway. So both Key West and Isla Mirada have definite island vibes. I was saying Key West has a more touristy island vibe, whereas in Isla Mirada, it felt more like a little resort town. And they both have excellent restaurants, but the ones in Key West are usually a lot more packed and a lot more families. Whereas the ones in Isla Mirada, yes, you definitely have kids and everything too, of course, but it just felt more of a relaxing island vibe. If you are budget conscious, if you're looking for something that's a little easier on the wallet, yeah, <laughs> neither of these are easy on the wallet, I'll be honest with you guys. But I will say, Isla Mirada was not as expensive as Key West. And you might notice that in your research too, that's what I found. The hotels and restaurants in Key West was slightly higher than Isla Mirada. And actually we stayed in a little boutique hotel, it was a little inn just off the overseas highway. And it was really reasonable. We didn't spend that much time there because we were out most of the time, but it had everything we needed and we really liked it. So if you are more budget conscious, I would say Isla Mirada versus Key West. And if you're like me, you probably are looking for a really awesome sunset or sunrise pictures, right? I mean, what's a good beach vacation without one of those? Isla Mirada is beautiful without a doubt. And actually something interesting, the name Isla Mirada means purple island. And it's so true. Like you kind of have to be there to see it. But in Isla Mirada, during sunset, everything just turned a shade of 
purple and it's hard to describe it it's hard to even show it on screen before we actually came to visit the keys we had friends who lived in the keys and they were just trying to tell us how purple the sunset was so if you're looking for an interesting purple sunset i would say a la mirada and here's a little bonus tip if you wear a white blouse or you know something white you can probably see that purple shade that tint from the sunset more and once again it's hard to capture on camera it doesn't do it justice but this is one that we took from Isla Murada. this is at Murada Bay which is a restaurant I do recommend and you can see more of that in this video on the top right hand corner after you watch this video so for the sunset views I would say Isla Murada because it's got that unique purple tint to it but on the other hand Key West had a lot more options as far as sunset views. There's even a restaurant called Latitudes. It's on the private island and you can just take a boat out there and now that would be an awesome sunset view. And if you want to see more of that, you can click on this video on the top right hand corner. So as far as sunset or sunrise, I think it's a toss up between these two, between Key West and Isla Mirada, but it just depends on what you want to see. So hopefully that helps. All right, so here's something else to consider if you want to be out late at night and you know listen to live music. There are a lot more options in Key West. In Isla Mirada is really quiet, and actually we were driving back one night from Key West, and you can really tell a difference between these two places because it's a lot quieter in Isla Mirada. There isn't even that many streetlights, and you can see more of the stars in Isla Mirada. So once again, if you want a quieter evening choose Isla Mirada but if you want live music more things open late at night go to Key West so the last thing to consider is snorkeling now from my research I found that there are better coral reefs in the upper and middle keys than in the lower keys that's just from my research of course if you take a snorkeling boat tour you're going to see a lot of awesome things out there if you do choose to stay at Isla Mirada, there is actually a coral reef state park. It's called John Penna Camp. So it's actually in Key Largo, but you can actually snorkel from the beach. So you can snorkel without going on a boat. But if you're looking for snorkeling tours, of course, both Key West and Isla Mirada have these available. But once again, from my research, they have better coral reefs in the middle keys, such as Isla Mirada, versus in the lower keys. All right, so there you have it. Eight things to consider if you're trying to decide between Key West versus Isla Mirada. If this video helped you at all, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you want to see more travel guides on where to go and where to eat in the Florida Keys, please subscribe and stay tuned.